Let me tell you something. As Joe Biden continues to struggle to basically speak, as I showed you yesterday, Donald Trump's administration is just straight up lying to you about the coronavirus and willingly lying to you to the point where you will not have the right information and you might go out there thinking, oh, things aren't that bad. Yeah, there's a little increase here or there in cases, but for the most part, things are fine. Take a look at Larry Kudlow, Trump's chief economic advisor, uh, this morning on uh, the Fox propaganda show, Fox and Friends. Well, it's probably a little bit of both. Those are both good points. Look, I'm not the health expert, but on the uh, on the so-called spike, I spoke to our health experts at some length last evening. They are saying there is no second spike. Let me repeat that. There is no second spike. And as Secretary Mnuchin said yesterday in testimony, and I totally agree, we are not going to shut down the economy. What you do have is certain spots are seeing a little bit of a jump up. Uh, some small metropolitan areas are seeing it. Uh, the CDC and the health uh, people are all over it. They've sent some task forces out to deal with it. You know, nowadays we have much better equipment, much more experience, much more testing. I mean, the testing itself has jumped up, so you're going to get a little more positivity from that. But if you look nationally, important point is the rate of increase of new cases is between zero and one percent. It's really flattened out. And with respect to fatalities, it's the same. It's actually lower than that. It's like zero to a half a percent. So if I can calm fears, again, I'm not the health expert. Uh, Ambassador uh, Burks may be out and about later today. Nonetheless, uh, there is no emergency. There is no second wave. I don't know where that got started on Wall Street. No emergency, says Donald Trump's economic advisor. No emergency. The so-called second wave. Gotta love just straight up. I mean, this is the post-truth error. This is the post-truth error, but it's the post-truth error at the risk of your life. I know, I know, nobody wants to go back and stay in their home. I don't want to stay. And my girlfriend and I have been talking. It's, you know, it's just, a lot of people have it worse. But, you know, being in a, what are we, 1,000 square foot apartment pretty much all day, it's not fun. Uh, we need a change of environment. Uh, it zaps your uh, productivity. It zaps your, I feel lethargic a lot of the time. Uh, depression sinks in, anxiety, things like that. But the bottom line is, I don't know what health experts Larry Kudlow is citing when cases are increasing in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three states. The so-called spike? Florida which just opened up beaches, sees record single-day rise in coronavirus cases. San Antonio entering a second wave. Novel coronavirus cases in Florida and Texas have seen significant spikes this week. Florida reported a record 1,698 new cases on Thursday. Part of Texas, including San Antonio, are seeing a very large increase in cases and we are entering a second wave a health official in texas warned arizona coronavirus cases nearly double since memorial day as state nears hospital capacity in many parts of the u.s vox writes covid appears to be surging it is a grim reminder that the country has not beaten the coronavirus pandemic that has taken more than 110,000 american lives Moreover, the national numbers obscure the state and local trends that have public health, health experts worried. I mean, do you see that, that middle circle getting bigger? 
the original pandemic epicenters, namely New York City and a couple neighboring states like Jer New Jersey, have seen a steady decline in cases and death since a mid-April peak, but new hot spots are emerging. Arizona, for one, is seeing increased hospitalizations, more tests are coming back positive for COVID, and the rate of new infections as a share of the state's population is quite high. Outbreaks are picking up in parts of the country that were spared the worst of the pandemic initially because first, they were lucky the virus did not arrive there early, and second, they instituted social distancing policies before their outbreaks could grow out of control. Some states are starting to see a worrying combination of trends in their new COVID data. Not only are cases, not only are case numbers rising, but hospitalizations are increasing and the share of tests that come back positive has gone up, all of which suggests the coronavirus is spreading in the community. Yet at the same time, states are relaxing their stay at home orders, businesses are opening and people are socializing. The protests against police violence could also have been vectors for COVID spread though it's still too early to be sure how significant their effect will be. Well, it said that the big sell-off thought, you know what, this might be a good time. But on the, uh, the so-called spike, I spoke to our health experts at some length last evening. They are saying there is no second spike. Let me repeat that. There is no second spike. And as Secretary Mnuchin said yesterday in testimony, and I totally agree, we are not going to shut down the economy. What you do have is certain spots are seeing a little bit of a jump up. Uh, some small metropolitan areas are seeing it. Let me get something very, very clear. And, you know, maybe I'm biased because my father, God bless him, watches this shit all day, Fox News. So you have Fox News viewers and it's not just Fox News. Uh, the Trump administration is sending out this message all over the place that the economy is reopening and yeah, the cases are going up because we're doing more testing. Even though we're still not doing health experts, not the imaginary ones that Larry Kudlow is speaking to, but health experts that are not on the White House payroll and Fauci and uh, Deborah Birx have been honest throughout the process, give them credit, have been saying we're still not doing enough testing. You had people getting together in Memorial Day, on Memorial Day. Well, it's now about a week and a half since Memorial Day, so it makes sense that you would be seeing massive spikes after all these people were congregating on Memorial Day. We, we obviously have seen the protests, which I covered. You're not gonna tell people not to protest because black people are facing two pandemics. You're either gonna die from COVID or from cops. So I'm not going to criticize people protesting, but obviously we were going to see spikes. But it's extremely dangerous when you have the elected government, Trump, and his advisors who are appointed just minimizing and lying to the people about the true nature of the threat. The truth is we don't know, we really don't know if we're entering a second wave we don't know if that second wave is going to be slower than the first wave. We don't know if it's going to end up being worse than the first wave because all of these people have been packed like sardines all over the country protesting. Now at beaches, we just don't know. And unfortunately, when you have someone like Trump who puts his reelection over lives, which just so happens to be screwing his reelection, whether you like it or not, if the election were held today, Joe Biden would win by a lot. If it were held today, there's still a lot of time for Joe Biden to screw it up. All, I, all you have to do is look at him trying to speak full sentences in public. So the bottom line is, uh, whether it's Larry Kudlow, whether it's Steve Mnuchin saying we're not going to be closing down the economy again, whether it's Trump you know, throwing his hands in the air that he can't have the GOP convention in North Carolina, and the governor of North Carolina rightly wouldn't let them have it without masks. Um, this is really dangerous because you're going to have a lot of Fox News viewers, a lot of right wingers just going out and about because Trump, his puppets that pretend to be journalists at Fox News are telling them, yeah, yeah, it's just small increases, nothing to worry about. You know, go to the bar, go to the barbecue restaurant, stuff your face, you'll be fine.
Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusquo.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statusquo.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. Thank you.